Would you like to share about the graph Python package? Yeah, sure. So we know that as AI is getting more advanced, right. people are starting to use agents. Mm -hmm. They're starting to think about how do I combine different RAG workflows. And to do this, it really helps to have more than just a bunch of documents with a vector index on them. Very true. It helps to have different entities defined. You can imagine if you're working on like a legal case with commercial contracts, there's organizations, there's contract clauses. If you're working on something in financial services, there's yep. managers, there's yep. banks, there's all these different entities. So we know that we need some sort of data structure, right, to back our AI and make that accessible to our AI so they can Very answer funny. these questions in these workflows. But doing that can sometimes be challenging. There's cool. some friction there, because it's not as easy as just saying, I'm going to just chunk my documents up and put a vector index on them. Yeah. So the purpose of the GraphRag package is to make the end-to-end -end process from creating the entities you need, to designing the retrievers, to then putting that into a system where you can talk to an AI mm -hmm. as easy as possible for developers, starting in Python right now.